So today, I'm going to teach you some caps. These are caps. Caps can be done on the side. Other side. You can do them in front of you on your side points. You can do them in the same time. Or split time. Each has its own unique look. And you can switch back and forth between them. You've got your top caps. As well as your bottom caps. The cool thing about all these is that they're all the same movement, down at different quadrants. Eventually you can turn them into these four pedal anti-spin flowers. What's up everybody? Stone's Boy here. Today we're going to work on some caps. What are caps? A cap, an extension, versus an anti-spin. This right here. It's actually pretty easy to learn. I was actually pretty shocked at how easy they are because they look so complicated, right? That looks really complicated. In reality, it's just two poi doing an extension versus an anti-spin. To get comfortable with your anti-spins, if you're not yet, good way to practice. So you're gonna start on one side, drop it down. Pull it back out. Extend it out. Drop it down. Pull it back out. Extend it. Okay, that's what's called a linear isolation. But for now, all you need to do is get comfortable with this. Once you can do it in front of you, make sure you do it with both hands, both directions, always, always. That will be the mantra of this gym. Always both directions, always both hands. Once you have that, start working on the side cap. This one will be, you're actually not going to turn to the side and work on your side plane. We're still going to work on the wall plane. But your non-native side, same thing. Extension versus anti-spin. Bring it up here, hold it, anti-spin it down. Make sure you're not wanting to put this extra beat in there and do an in-spin. For now, we want to make sure we do an extension. On your top quadrant, okay, go over here, anti-spin, extension, anti-spin, extension, and on your native side. If you have all four quadrants, Make sure you learn them. Other hand, both directions. Okay. Next, we're gonna combine these. So we're gonna do this, and this one's gonna go opposite direction. Same thing. Okay, so we're gonna be in opposite directions, same time. And they're gonna come down together, and then anti spin out. Okay, you can start. By not crossing your arms, just bring them down to here. If you can't do a butterfly, that's fine. Just bring them together, pull them apart. You'll be doing more of the extension on the side of your body, which is good to start, but eventually you want to be able to get to this. This is a full arm cross, allowing me to do the anti-spin pedal on the bottom, rather than out here, making it as geometric as possible. So they come together at the bottom. It's because I'm coming all the way across here and starting that anti-spin there. That's the goal is to get to this. Okay. But this is fine as well. Okay. Still working on those same four quadrants. Now we're gonna switch to the side. Same thing. Anti-spin, extension. Let me get that full length. Anti-spin, extension. Okay. okay, so we can do them on this side. Now we're going to switch to this side. Okay, it's the same thing. We'll start here. And this one, anti-spin this way, and then down. 
extend up, anti-spin down. This one is spinning in this direction, anti-spin up, down, anti-spin up, down. So, anti-spin cap, anti-spin cap, anti-spin cap. Okay. You can also work on the top quadrant. This guy up here. Okay. Other hand. Same thing. Coming up in front of us. Anti-spin. Extension. Anti-spin. Extension. Anti-spin. Extension. Again, you can just bring it here. Or you can get that full cross. So starting on your, your side planes, you want to, you can either go this, same split, or you can go split up. I'm going to start with split up because they're the easiest ones to learn, okay? So starting with just one, you're going to anti-spin up in front, extend down. Anti-spin up in front, extend down. We're going to take the other one, we're going to go opposite direction. Extend up. Anti spin down, extend up, anti spin down. All right. Now, here's where it gets fun. Same time, just gonna bring both hands up in front of you. Once you're up here, bring them down. If you're in split up, you should get an extension and an anti spin, and if at each one, as you go up and down. Next thing is same thing, split up, only instead of doing same time with both hands, we're gonna do split time. So we're gonna start with one up at the top, and then you're just gonna switch which hand is on top. Boom. 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 Now, when you start doing it fast, these. Okay. Make sure you do it in both directions. All right. Top quadrant. I'm gonna start here and do this. All right. You want to be able to do it with both arms in both directions. This is a little trickier. We're going to start at the bottom and we're going to extend out. So we are stretched out and then we're going to go up and out. Okay. Once we're here, which direction the in-spin is, we're going to extend out. Back to here. We'll anti-spin. Extend, anti-spin, extend, anti-spin. And you get your top quadrant caps. Okay. Bottom quadrants, same thing. Right. Bottom quadrants, you start here, go out to here, and whichever direction the pole you're going, you're going to anti-spin it and extend it. Anti-spin it, extend it. And you get these bottom caps. So now we've got our front caps. Okay, both of those. We now have our bottom caps. And we now have our top caps. So, you can now do the full, you should now be able to do the full four pedal anti spin split up. I guess it would be. Uh, somebody help me with that, that terminology, but it's this, same thing, anti-spin, anti-spin on the top, anti-spin on the bottom. Put it together, look what you get. Notice how I'm really turning my body, remember how I talked about that? Turn your body. You don't 
want to be sitting here trying to do it just on your shoulders. Really make sure you twist that body. It's so much better on your shoulders. All right, so you have a four pedal here, which is just a cap on the top and the bottom without extending back. And you can just start combining it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, let me know down in the comments. If you have any questions as well, let me know. And if you have any requests for any future tutorials, just I'll be uploading new ones every week as well as some product reviews. We'll be doing a review on the Poi that I use. These are V2s from Flow Toys in their Flow Mojo contacts and a set of Ultra Knobs on these. These are my babies. These are by far the best Flow Toys I've ever spun with and uh, I highly recommend them to everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoy this kind of content, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, let you know every time I upload videos. Thanks much, bye.